Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of She Plays Final Fantasy XIV and Rhyme Bone with Kozu and Carbuncle. Last time we left off, we took care of the Cobalt Threat despite DC in the middle of a fight. And we came over here and told this guy, hey, dude, Cobalts are a little getting a little out of hand. And he's like, well, alright, you know what? We're gonna take that into heart. And we're gonna. Uh, oh my goodness. <sighs> we're gonna take that into heart. And you know what? I got something for you as well, because I know, you know, uh, I don't know. Oh, dress to call. This is going to be an equipment thingy. I have a mind to set you a task, Outlander, but before I do, I need to be sure you're properly kitted out. Pirates don't care to parley with dandies, you understand. It might well be that the ones here have traded in their cutlass of courtlers, but they're still rogues at heart. I know a solid set of gear when I see it. Come back when you think you're more suitably equipped. So, we need... Notice over his head. That's the, the check mark, but it's not green, it's red, and it's got a key on it. It's like, you do not meet the requirements for this quest. Very well. We're just gonna have to get the gear to meet the requirements for the quest. Bah, I can't even rely on those rotten pirates to pick these ripes of Laodicea. Yet, it, if I leave the oranges a day longer, they'll, they're they like to fall from the boughs. Maybe, mayhap, you grab me a few? You're not afraid of pesky hornet or two, are you? We're gonna grab these and then we're gonna teleport over to the other place. Uh, actually, I don't know if there really is a teleport by there. Uh, yeah, there's no teleport by the Red Rooster Stead. And we can't even choke a bow caravan over there. Oh my goodness, this is, this is a predicament. But we're gonna pick up these quests and then we're gonna run over there before we complete them. Rocks in a hard place. Summerford Farms bears the charge of the Admiral's Sediment Initiative. We're rewarded handsomely to brave new frontiers. Yet if we fail to fulfill our part of the bargain, the grant will be withdrawn. In spite of this, the washed-up pirates elect to laze their days away. There is still time. We need only clear away the rocks and debris for the areas to be deemed settled. If you're willing to help, you'll find a shovel outside that, that hut on the hillside. Alright. Now, I am willing to help. Don't get me wrong. But... I want to get this sh sh skedaddle done. Of course, before we do the whole skedaddle shebang, 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 we're going to go to this merchant mender, which is right located right next to our delivery moogle. And I'm going to buy some gear. So we've got... We've got some stuff we can do. We've got a new book we can pick up, which will increase our intelligence. It's only 358 gil, so once you talk to them, be like, Eh, this is what I want to buy. Do you want to buy this for this much gil? Yeah, sure, okay. It's like, alright. And then it went into my, um, armory. But we're not done with you yet. No siri, Bob. Let's go to battle gear, because we want to be battle ready. Oh, the leather eye patch. We don't want the leather eye patch, though. Instead, I want this hempen coif. I personally really like it. Uh, then we need... Um, let's get these mitts. And we'll get these tights. Granted, if you're... You're more patient, then you'll pick these up right along in the quest. But I'm not patient right now, so let's go ahead and equip that. Let's equip that. Uh, let's equip these tights. Let's equip these gloves. Alright, and we should be... That should be everything that we have to equip at the moment. But it still won't give us the other quest because um, you need a, ta a head piece and a body piece. And personally, I don't want to get that just yet. Well, don't worry, we'll get it later. Right now we're just all dressed up in our little... Our snuggy wuggies. I was so snuggly buggly. So, I'm going to uh, cut to where I get to the Red Rooster Stead, and I'll see you guys in just a second. Alright, you guys need to set up a crystal here at the Red Rooster Stead, because that truck was just a little bit annoying. Just a little bit. Throwing that out there. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, just. Yeah, no. But first, we got some stuff to turn in. Arolano. Arolano. Lona. Oh my goodness, I cannot pronounce names in this game. Return to me once you've collected three files of ladybug. Well, we already got the three files of ladybug stuff. So go ahead and take it. It's elementary, really. Aphids live in fear of ladybugs, and so applying the scent of ladybug blood to our blood 
Ladybug blood to our crops, it's certain to ward off the parasites. We are manipulating the laws of nature. Of course, we could have just let the ladybugs go on defending the crops, as always, and not squash them for their vis viscera, but I hardly see the science in that. You are an evil, evil woman. Let's go for the copper. Oh yeah, those are wristlets, so let me go ahead and equip those. Because we're not wearing any. Skalalala, speak to me. Good to see you return to us unharmed. Alright. Thank you. Glad well, someone's concerned for my safety. And with three full bags, no less. I am grateful, but I fear this is hardly the last wheel here of the kobolds. They have been growing more restless in recent moons, and this trend is like to continue. Anok must be appraised of this incident. War is at our doorstep. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, war is at our doorstep. This is not good at all. Hmm. Anok, speak to us, old man. So the kobolds are at it again. Not content with their own territory, the creatures have been pouring forth from the subterranean dwellings to wreak havoc on Leminson land. But we won't stand for it, our livelihoods are at stake. Alas, with neither side willing to give any ground, I fear there may be no peaceful resolution. Oh, it's so sad. No peaceful resolution. Give me a bone necklace and shut the F up. Yay! We leveled up again. We're almost level 10. Oh, he seems deems a confrontation with the kobolds imminent. Oh no, this is not good at all. We're going to be confronting with the kobolds. You've seen with your own eyes how the kobolds have taken up arms against us. Yep. The mines of Ogoro aren't enough to for the native nuisances of northern Vilbrand anymore. They've come to claim what is ours. Long ago, our war-weary forebears struck a short-sighted peace with the kobolds. What lay beneath the sea was to be Limsa's. What lay underground was Ogomoro's. Yet, what resolved one conflict created another. As the sea cannot fully feed, clothe, and shelter the children of land, realizing this, the kobolds tactically condoned the Limson settlement of Lanasia. We shared an unspoken agreement. But now the kobolds aggressively assert their dominion, threatening our very survival. Adherence to a pact is meaningless, if it means our demise. It comes time for us to take a stand. Seek the wisdom of Arn Lona to learn how. Very well. I will speak to this Ari lady. Ari lady. Where's she at? Oh, it's this chick again. You. So, Anelic has at last abandoned the naive hope that the kobold menace would abate of its own accord. Their numbers have increased manifold as they expand band southward. The food shortages spurred by overpopulation quicken the cycle of aggression. A common beggar would know better than to expect foodstuffs aboard a stagecoach bound for the stead, but the filthy scamps grow desperate. We need only set the bait and their hunger will be undo their undoing. Tell Anoak to make the arrangements. Oh my goodness! Why don't you go tell him? He's three feet over there! I mean, you, could, you don't even have to leave your spot. Just be like, hey, Noick, just go give him some food and stuff. Ingenious will trap the hungry kobolds as one would any rodents, and I know just the bait to set. Tell Scon Farmer to set aside some dodo meat from our next shipment. Set a bit of that in blind iron mines, and the little gluttons won't be able to resist. Oh, my goodness. These people are lazy. This guy's right over here. Speak to me, man. I hand dead dough to you and you kill kobolds for me? A bargain if I ever heard one. Take this over to Quathy south of the mines. She'll know where it goes. Oh my goodness. See, now his is a little more understandable. That's a little bit further. Let's hurry up and get this over with so we can hurry back to Limsa Lemons. I talked about her on and be like, hey, you know what? We also need to go to the Arcanist Guild, so. Yay! Alright, we're coming up to the chick pretty soon. We're at the Blind Iron Mines. Kwabati! Kwabati! That's actually kind of a cool name. Speak to me, Kwabati. Good to see the Red Rooster Stead hasn't turned chicken on us. Once you've found a good hiding spot, open the crate of meat nearby. The kobolds will follow their noses. By the time they see you, it'll be too late. I like the way you think, chick. I like the way you think. So, it looks like, hopefully, we're going to be fighting some more kobolds, but... 
Let's see if we disconnect. I'm not sure. Hey, look at some iron. Or a... Whoops, that's a wall. We need to not go into walls now. I'm not drunk tonight. <laughs> Alright, so we're almost there. It's right in here. Aha! We need to set the bait. Destination. Cobalts. Cobalts, you will, you will soon be my prey. Um, crate of meat. So they're carnivorous little bastards, aren't they? So we set the crate of little meat. Hi, that does look kind of tasty. Do they even... They put dodo eggs on there, too. That's cute. That's really cute. Oh, look at the meat. Okay, sorry. Such little detail into such a little item that will not even be there for that much longer. Alright, we're going to wait over here. And the kobolds should be around shortly. Standing watch you. Where are they at? I don't know. I'm just watching myself, really. Oh! Hello, little kobolds! Don't worry, you won't be that hard to take out. We got three of them to kill, I believe, is what it's telling me. Is there another one? Come on, uncle. There it is. So we took care of them. Take cover and ambush the... Yeah, we, yeah, we did that. We did that. Oh, is that it? That is it. Yeah, only three little kobolds. Three little kobolds. All right, let's hurry back to the Red Rooster Stead. Ah, we have finally returned. Yay! And there's another DW member. I swear to God, you're going to see those everywhere. Ah, all right. Old man, old man, we've done it. We've killed the kobolds. All three of them. They'll never bother you again. I expected no less. I don't know what we'd have done without you, which makes me wonder what we'll, we will do once you're gone. I was hoping you might visit the drowning wench and speak with Batteron. It is no secret the Yellow Jacks, Jackets pay him heed. Mayhaps he would put in a word so that the Stead might procure their protection. Oh, isn't that so sweet? So hey, our next destination is going to be with Batteron. Wait, what's going on in the middle? Oh yeah, that's our other quest. We're not going to do that just yet. As a matter of fact, I'm actually going to end the episode there. You guys have a wonderful evening. I will see you guys next time.